Hi guys, I am back with another Dollarama haul. As I've mentioned in previous hauls, Dollarama here in Canada ranges from a dollar at their lowest price point up to four dollars at their highest point. And what you can get at these different points um, varies in either like quantity, quality, or like the brand name items. So as you get up in the price point, the items that you're able to pick up are a lot more exciting or impressive. So for this haul, I thought I would do it in two parts and kind of break down what you're able to get at the different price points, at least what I was able to get this time around. So for this video, it's going to range from a dollar up to two dollars. And then in another haul that I will share with you, I will show you the items that I was able to pick up from um, two dollars up to four dollars. So the two dollar items will be included in this one and anything and above will be in the next haul. I thought that this would be a nice way for you guys to see what you're able to get at the different price points um, and maybe give you a better idea of what to look out for. So to start, I'm going to show you the one one dollar item that I picked up for this haul, which is actually a pack of a Trident gum. I know you can get this for a dollar at most grocery stores and at the Dollar Tree, but with me, I only enjoy spearmint gum, and I find that's actually a hard flavor to find in the Trident. So when I go to Dollarama, I typically pick up a couple packages of these. They do also have um, a lot of other dollar items in the candy aisle. I just typically don't pick up that much of that kind of stuff. Then moving on to the $1.25 price point. So these are items that are equivalent to price and typically quality that you would find at the Dollar Tree. So I did pick up a pack of the Biscuit Danish cookies. So because Christmas is coming up, they did pull out their tins with the holiday packaging. So this one has a really nice winter scene on it. They do carry the Biscuit cookies like all year long, but they only pull out the winter or Christmas themed ones in about October, November. So I was excited to find these and they do have an expiry date that goes all the way up to December 28th of next year. So there's going to be lots of time to enjoy these. I know my mom really likes these, so I'll probably bring them to dinner for Christmas Eve. Then a food related item. I did pick up a set of um, cupcake cases. So you get 60 in here for that $1.25 price point, but I just thought the patterning on them was really pretty. They're pink and white plaid, and my daughter's having a unicorn theme for her birthday um, with a touch of pink thrown in since that's her favorite color. So I'm going to use these for the cupcakes that I'm making her for her birthday. Then I did pick up one Halloween decoration. So this is the Skeleton Crow. And I know they do carry something similar to this at the Dollar Tree. So this is the exact same price point. I did like this guy because he's got the little wings that you can adjust. I'm not sure if you can with the one at Dollar Tree, but either way, um, doesn't matter which store you want to go for your Halloween decorations. A lot of them are at um, the same price point and they're very similar items, but this is the only one I picked up for my shelfscape this time around. Then I did pick up another set of note cards. So these are another set of eight and they're blank and this is by Tender Thoughts. And they're sunflower. So typically I pick these up to leave when I'm supply teaching and I leave my business card for the regular classroom teacher in the nice little note card <clears throat> and just give them a brief overview of how the day went and thank them for having me in. But these ones I actually picked up so I could send some snail mail to my mom. I thought she'd get a nice um, <clears throat> smile out of seeing um, actual mail come from me and my kiddos. So I'm excited to send one of these out to her shortly. Then I picked up um, a couple birthday slash stocking stuffers. If you've been watching my hauls, you know that I've been picking stuff up as I found it. Um, just so that I'm not swamped with it come actual Christmas time. My daughter's birthday is coming up here at the end of October. So I did pick this up to go along with her birthday gift. I'm actually just gonna be clipping it to the outside of one of her gift bags. She adores the color pink and I just thought this color was super vibrant. And then you've got like a little French bulldog head, which is like a plasticky leather material. 
and it's got the key ring and then it's got the little hook so it's gonna go on her backpack probably with the other one she already has hanging there and then I did find two gifts for my son for his birthday if you've been watching my hauls you've probably noticed that he is having an emoji themed so I did pick up these they, they almost feel like bean bags or hacky socks, but they are the I Heart Emoji brand. So I did get the happy crying face. And then I also got the stick your tongue out face. So I just thought he would get a kick out of playing with these or having them sit on his shelf. So that's all I found at the $1.25 price point, which is um, the equivalent to our Dollar Trees here in Canada, where everything there is $1.25. So now we're gonna take one step up to the $1.50 price point, and you'll see that the quality of what I was able to get is a little bit higher than at that $1.25 price point. So I did pick up one of the Betty Crocker cake mixes, and this is the rainbow bit one. And I got this one because since my daughter's having a unicorn theme, I kind of thought the rainbow bit went along with that really, really well. So that's what I'm going to be making her birthday cupcakes out of. And this is actually good all the way till August of next year, but I'm going to be using it within the next week. Then I picked up two things, I guess, for fall and Halloween. I found these really gorgeous candle holders. So they are a fairly heavy duty glass. They've got a good amount of weight to the base. You don't have to worry about them toppling over and they're thicker. So you don't need to worry about them cracking or you cutting yourself on them if you go to um, clean out the wax once you're finished burning your candles. And I just love the orange color. I thought it was perfect for both fall and Halloween. So I did pick up two of these and they were each at that $1.50 price point, which I thought was a really, really good deal. They did also have it in like a, a dark evergreen and then a blue and almost like a magenta color. So if you're looking for nice candle holders that aren't going to break the bank, definitely check out Dollarama. Then I did pick up the black light. I had hauled some nail polish from Dollar Tree a while back that actually is supposed to glow under black light and I was waiting for them to put out their bulbs but I was not able to find one. So when I found one at Dollarama for $1.50, I thought I would pick one up just so that the girls are able to use the nail polish and see it glow. I thought they'd have fun with that. Um, I actually popped into Dollar Tree yesterday and they do have their bulbs out now, but for 25 cents, it's not that big of a deal to me. <clears throat> then I did pick up one Christmas decoration. Um, I did haul in a previous video the white Christmas tree from Dollar Tree and I said that my daughters are going to have like a silver and pink theme so I found this pink sparkly star to go on the top of the tree for them. I just thought that that would pull the tree all together and really make it sparkle. Then I found of course some stocking stuffers for my kiddos. So I know Sandra from Sandra's Halls have shown these previously, but I thought they were such a great deal. So these are the Slow Rise um, Soft and Slow Squishies by Orb, but they are actually stickers. So this is what it looks like. And you can stick it to like your phone, you can stick it to a laptop, you can stick it to a notebook, you can really stick it to anything that you want. So I thought my kids would have fun playing with these. I also thought that they could make like a picture and then have this little 3D character and make like a whole little art project out of it. Whatever they wanna do, I'm okay with. So I did pick up four of these. I got the dog with the sunglasses. I got the unicorn, of course. Purple kitty. And then a teal teddy. And then I also picked these up for my girls and they are just like your bath sponge or bath loofahs, but I had never seen them in these styles before. So for my eldest daughter, I did get a little unicorn. So it's all rainbow colors. You've got his little horn here and then he's got little hands and feet buried in the sponge, which I just thought was super adorable and such a great price for only $1.50. 
And then also this little mermaid one for my youngest daughter. She's developed a thing for mermaids now, so I thought I would get her this one. And again, you got the little tail and she's got her little crown on. Just cute little details. And then I also found these, which I was super excited to find. So these are the Sweet Shop gummy blocks and they typically do carry these in like just a bag form of candy. But when I found them in these little plastic cases, I got really, really happy because if you look at them, looks just like a plastic case for candy, but on the top, it actually has a slit in it and it can be used as a bank afterwards. And I know what you're thinking, and I was thinking the same thing, that the container's probably going to get all like gross and sticky in there. But for freshness reasons, of course, and to keep it safe, the candy is inside there in its own little plastic bag. So you don't even have to worry about washing any sticky residue or anything out of the container. And it's nice because the imprint, like the uh, name for the company, isn't a part of the actual container. It's just on the plastic, so you're not even going to have any of that text on there. It's just going to be a nice clear bank for them to use, which I thought was super, super neat. I love items like this that are dual purpose. You get that fun little snack, and then you can also use it as a bank. Um, in here, you do get strawberry, lemon, apple, and blue raspberry, raspberry flavor, and it's just a mix out of all of them. And the expiry date is until January 26th of 2021. So lots of time to have the little gummies too. So I did pick up a red, a blue, a yellow, and an orange. And it does come out like the bottom part pops out. That's how you get the candy out and that's how you can get the money out once you start using them for banks. Another neat feature with these is that they are stackable. So they do like click on to one another so it doesn't fall off. So this is really neat if you want to teach your child about money and sorting it into the different type of coins. So in Canada here, you could put your toonies, your loonies, your quarters, your dimes, um, so on and so forth. And that way they can learn the differences between them. It will help with their counting and addition as well. So when I saw these, I thought such an amazing find for Dollarama. And then my last items at the $1.50 price point were these gorgeous socks. So I did haul in a previous video the same brand of socks, which is Comfy Toes. And they were the ones that I picked up that were super cute patterns. So I had like a pineapple, cupcakes, avocados, popcorn, mostly food. I think there was like a little piggy one thrown in there as well. Um, and they're, they're super comfortable. They're super soft. They've been holding up well. People have been commenting on the cute little patterns on them. So I absolutely love this brand so far. So when I saw these ones, I got super excited. So these are actually meant for shoe size four to 10. So like I said, again, it goes up to 10. Um, whereas some of the ones at the Dollar Tree only go up to a nine. And these are actually thicker than the pattern ones that I picked up before. So these are meant for more so for um, the fall or winter season, especially great for putting in a boot. And they are gray and white plaid or buffalo check, which is a very popular um, design this year, it seems. So I did get the gray. Then there was this gorgeous blue, perfect for winter. And then, of course, the traditional red and black. So if you like the buffalo check or the plaid, however you want to call it, definitely go check out your Dollarama. These are perfect either for yourself or great for stocking stuffers. All right, now I'm going to move on to the $2 price point. Um, and like I said, as you go up in the price point, you're able to find things um, that either have like a brand name attached to them or just a higher quality than the lower price points. So I'm going to start with the food items again. So I have shown these in a previous haul, but these are the Rocher Blanc chocolate covered raisins. They're completely peanut free and it's $2 for the 200 gram package. And these are absolutely amazing. Super, super delicious. If you love glossettes, you will abandon glossettes forever to have these. So much better than them. 
um, very impressed with a dollar store product. And these are nice because they are made just for Dollarama. So they are made here in Canada um, out of Quebec. So I thought that was really nice. And then I did pick up the Walker's Mint Thins. So they're the dark chocolate mint thins um, that are actually made in Britain. And it was $2 for 150 grams. And to me, they reminded me of the After Eight Mints, which I absolutely love, but you pay like five to six dollars for a box that is relatively the same size as this. Um, so this is good up until May of 2021. So a lot of time to have it. And I think it's gonna taste fairly similar. The ingredients sound the same to me. Um, and it's a chocolate covered mint. I mean, you really can't go wrong. There's not gonna be too much of a difference. I mean, the chocolate might taste a little bit different, but I'm excited to give them a shot and see how they rank along after eight, because at the price point, you really can't beat it. Then I did pick up one more Halloween decoration, and it is similar to the crow I picked up, but I had not seen this one before at either Dollarama or Dollar Tree, and I thought for my daughter, I just had to get it. So it is $2, but look at it. It is a skeleton unicorn. So I thought it would be fun to incorporate um, like the theme for her birthday into Halloween since they are close to one another. And I thought she'd get a kick out of it. My daughter is not um, one who scares easy, so I think she'll actually think it's pretty neat. Then for my kiddos, uh, just um, to practice when they get home from school, um, they're in um, uh, senior kindergarten and grade one, well, two of them are, and they are learning their addition and subtraction. So I thought that these would be nice to practice when they get home from school. And I loved that they were apps, um, that they were actually licensed because that way it's going to catch their interest a lot more. So for my son, I got the Transformers. He absolutely loves Transformers. And these are actually made by Hasbro. So that is such a great deal. If you were to find these at like Walmart or um, another department store, you'd probably be looking at like three to four dollars, um, if not even more than that. So to find these at Dollar Emma for two bucks is a really great deal. And then for my daughter, um, I got Shimmer and Shine. She loves this um, series. She actually reads the books more so than she watches the show, but I thought she would love um, just even to look at the pictures on the cards and that it would definitely help her uh, focus when it comes to doing her math work. And then I did, of course, pick up some stocking stuffers. So these are the Shopkins mini packs. Um, so you get one Shopkin inside, but then you get like the little plastic container that it comes in. Um, some of them do come in the cardboard containers, but I always look for the plastic ones because they hold up a lot longer, of course. So I did get the little hat box. And then it does have your little mini Shopkin in there. And then I got the little jam jar, which I thought was just so cute with its little label on there called Tasty Spread. <laughs> so I did get these for my girls to go in their stocking. And $2, once again, a really great price for Shopkins. And then I actually picked these up for me. I had never seen these before. So these are by... Um, Disney. They're Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, and if you haven't seen that movie, you should definitely check it out. Um, it's good to watch around Christmas. It's good to watch around Halloween. Really good to watch anytime. It's such a great little movie. Um, Tim Burton is quite the interesting character, so his movies are his, his movies are really neat. I like them. Um, so this one, it gives you a key ring in it, and it's a blind bag as well. But there's the front. And these are all the possible ones you could get. And I just thought that was really, really fun. Um, I know I'm probably still a kid at heart for being excited to have a blind bag to open. So I did pick up two of these. I just thought I could use them to decorate like my tote bags that I carry to school with me with and that the kids there would get a kick out of them. None of my kiddos have actually seen The Nightmare Before Christmas yet. Um, I might put it on for my eldest son this year to see what he thinks. All right, 
So like I said, this is the end to my dollar to two dollar Dollarama haul and I will be back again shortly with the other side of the spectrum. So we'll be going up from anywhere from uh, 225 which you don't find too often so it's normally from 250 up to four dollars and I just wanted to do this just so you can see what you're able to get at the different price points um, so I'm super excited to do that video for you guys as well because you would be amazed at what I found at the four dollar point so I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know down in the comments if you like the idea of me breaking it down into the different price points for you and I really hope that you're able to find something that you, that you are super excited about at your local Dollarama. And like I said before, make sure you're shopping around, even from one Dollarama to the next. Um, the items that you find are completely different. Sometimes the price points are very different. It's always great to shop around. Even when you're already um, getting a good deal, you could get an even better one. So I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, rest of the week and do feel um, welcome to subscribe if you'd like to become part of my YouTube family and I hope to see you guys back again.